like every other child, I, I wanted a doll with blue eyes and golden hair. And instead he gave me this black doll. And he said, black is beautiful too. Now, it's too much to understand at age seven what black is beautiful is. And I thought he was some kind of queer uh, creature. But it was this kind of um, very gentle feedback that I was getting constantly from my father. And then, of course, at one point, I suddenly discovered the value of all this and thought that I was very gifted because I had this very special childhood. I came of a family where no one would even dream of stopping anyone. I was always a child <laughs> uh, and being dominated by, I mean, my friends or my everybody, you know. Yeah, but then my scenario changed when I was in third year. I thought I could uh, save a few boys from ragging. I became quite a mastan. My mother used to kill me a lot. She used to kill me and kill me in the hospital. But the more I eat, the more I get to know my knowledge. और मार खा लेती और मेरे नाना के पास जाके बोलती थी क्या नाना जी पंडवानी गाना स्त्री के लिए क्या गुना है I've never felt when I was a child that you know um, that I was any different that I would have been any different if I had been a boy things would have been different if I had been a boy we didn't have any brothers we with three sisters and uh, we've never felt that you know we lacked anything or that we were handicapped in any way because we were uh, female Never. If you keep it, keep keep a gender depressed, ma male or a woman, uh, female, well, that gender will not grow. It's like stunting the growth and make it a bonsai of a tree. I mean, I have been allowed as a as a woman, as a child, as a girl to grow, grow as far as I can go. I think if a woman is brought up to believe that she's in some way subsidiary, subservient, or second class. She will fulfill that prophecy. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. From my own experience, I think I owe everything I am to my mother, who was a professional herself. She was a leading gynecologist in Bombay. And from a very early age, I was uh, trained to believe that every woman should have a career, that every woman should express herself to her full potential. Sadashiva, the eternal form of God is a deep-rooted image in our collective psyche. Here, the Lord is half male and half female, Purush and Prakriti. Shiva and Shakti. The two halves unite but never merge because each is imperative for the other to exist, to grow, to become. Complementary halves of a whole. There are no rigid compartmentalizations, therefore no conflicts and categories. Perhaps especially so for a woman because she is a mother, wife, teacher, worker, child, the leader and the led. <laughs> 